Hi everyone, I am Riyana MS, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Srinarayana Institute of Technology, Adur. We are studying Civil Engineering Project Management for 8th semester BTEC in Civil Engineering. We are studying the 6th module of Civil Engineering Project Management which deals with the construction procedures. In the previous sessions we have studied what is contract, what are the elements of a contract, what are the essentials of contract, contract documents, the different conditions of contract including the general conditions as well as special conditions and also the important clauses in construction contract as per Indian Contract Act. Our topic of discussion is mistakes in contract and law of contract. First of all we have to study consequences of mistakes in contract. What is a mistake? Mistake means errors. It can be argued as a defense. Kinds of mistakes. There are two kinds of mistakes may arise in a construction contract. They are mistake of fact and mistake of law. The mistake of fact can be again classified as unilateral mistakes and bilateral mistakes. So, in a construction co contract, there are two types of mistakes. They are mistake of fact and mistake of law. The mistake of fact can be again classified as unilateral mistakes and bilateral mistakes. Mistake of fact. The mistake of fact is divided into two types such as bilateral mistakes and unilateral mistakes. First one, bilateral mistake. What is bilateral mistake? When both the parties of a contract commence or conduct a mistake, it is said to be bilateral mistake and as a result of this, the agreement is void. Then what is unilateral mistake? When any one of the contracting party conducts a mistake, it is said to be unilateral mistake. Unilateral mistake is the mistake of one party and does not render the contract voidable. So bilateral mistake is a mistake arise when both the parties conducts mistake. And a unilateral mistake is the mistake arise when any one of the party do mistake. In case of bilateral mistakes, the contract or the agreement become voidable. But in case of unilateral mistake, as one party is conducting mistake. So it does not render the contract voidable. Next is the effect of unilateral mistakes. First one, valid contract. If a person due to his negligence makes a wrong contract, he cannot avoid the contract. That is, the contract becomes valid. Second one, voidable contract. If unilateral mistake is caused by fraud on the part of the other party, the contract is voidable and can be avoided by the insured party. Void agreement. It occurs when identity of the contracting party is essential to the contract, the mistake makes the agreement void. Or when one of the parties of the contract without his own knowledge is made to commit a mistake because of the nature of the contract, the agreement would be void. These are the effects of unilateral mistakes. So the second kind of mistake, mistake of law. When a party enters into a contract without the knowledge of the law in the country, the contract is affected by such mistakes but it is not void so it is the type of mistake of law when a port party enters into a contract without the knowledge of the law a contract is not voidable because it was caused by a mistake to any law in force in the country law of contract The law of contract deals with agreements which can be enforced through courts of law. 
The object of law of contract is to introduce def definiteness in commercial and other transactions. The law of contract is the most important part of commercial law because every commercial transaction starts from an agreement between two or more persons. So law of contract deals with the agreements which is enforceable by law and it is usually applicable for by commercial law because every commercial transaction starts from an agreement between two or more persons. Next is void agreements. Void agreements are those agreements which are not enforced by law courts. Session 2G of the Indian Contract Act defines a void agreement as an agreement not enforceable by law. Under Indian Contract Act, there are five categories of agreements which are expressly declared to be void. Categories of agreements under Indian Contract Act which are expressed as void agreement. First one, agreement in restraint to marriage. Second one, agreement in restraint of trade. Third one, agreement in restraint of proceedings. Fourth one, agreements having uncertain meaning. And the last one, wagering agreement. So, as per Indian Contract Act, there are five different categories of void agreements. They are agreement in restraint to marriage, agreement in restraint of trade, agreement in restraint of proceedings, agreements having uncertain meaning and wagering agreement. The difference between void agreement and void contract. Void agreement. A void agreement is never valid. It is void from the beginning itself. When the agreement is created, all the prerequisites of the contract are not satisfied, thus making it void. Void contract A void contract is one that becomes void due to the impossibility of performance. It is valid at the beginning but later on becomes void. When the contract is entered into and all the prerequisites of the contract are satisfied, which due to certain circumstances subsequently becomes void. So, a void agreement is void from the beginning itself, whereas the void contract is valid at the beginning, but later, because of some circumstances, it becomes void. Next is features of void contract. A contract is voidable only. One of few parts may be saved by the process of severance. Presence of one contracting party undue influence over the other. Because of this, the void in contract arises. The features of void contract include first one, non disclosure of one or more material facts. Second one, misrepresentation. Third one, mutual mistake. Fourth one, Lack of free will of a contracting party. Fifth one, a material breach of the terms of the contract. So the features of a void contract are non-disclosure of one or more material facts, representation, mutual mistake, lack of free will of a contracting party or a material breach of the terms of the contract. Valid contract. A valid contract is a written or expressed agreement between two parties to produce a product or service. There are essentially six elements of a contract that make it a legal and binding document. In order for a contract to be enforceable, it must contain the intent of both parties to carry out their promise. Quasi contract. 
an obligation that the law creates in the absence of an agreement between the parties. The courts create cosy contracts to avoid the unjust enrichment of a party in a dispute over payment for a good or service. A cosy contract is a contract that exists by order of a contract, not by agreement of the parties. Features of a cosy contract a cosy contract is not a real contract. It is not based upon the offer and acceptance rule. It does not arise from any formal agreement but it is imposed by law. It is a right which is available against a particular person only. So these are the features of cosy contract. It is not a real contract. It is not based on the offer and acceptance rule. It does not arise from any formal agreement, but it is enforceable by law. It is a right which is available against only one or more particular persons. So difference between agreement and contract. An agreement is any understanding or arrangement reached between two or more parties. A contract is a specific type of agreement. By its terms and elements, it is legally binding and is enforceable by law. So, hoping that you have understood the portion, mistakes in contract and law of contract and some important types of contracts such as void contract, valid contract, cosy contract, etc. The difference between agreement and contract and the difference between valid contract and void contract, etc. And the difference between void agreement and void contract. Hoping that you have understood all the portions which I have discussed today. And now I am assigning two questions. First one is write short notes on lawful consideration, capacity of parties and free consent. These are three important essentials of contract. So write a short note on these three. And the second question is that briefly explain the four elements or parts of contract. You have to explain, list out the four elements of contract, then explain the four elements or parts of contract briefly. Okay. Thank you. Stay safe.